All right, if you watch this video until the end, you're gonna learn how to make your content go viral on Instagram. So, listen to what I'm saying. Let me hypnotize you. Zoom. Okay, that was fucking awful. Um, but yeah, guys, let's talk about the Instagram, Instagram snowball effect. Like, you know on Instagram, yeah, I have snow with me, okay? You know on Instagram, the, the more engagement you get, the, the, for more people, your post gets pushed to the, to the explore page, and the more people follow you. So, it's the snowball effect. And uh, as the snowball becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, you start to become viral. So now we're going to be talking about how to start the snowball correctly, how to grow the snowball to where you see tremendous, tremendous, tremendous amounts of growth. And we're going to be using a, lot, a couple of people uh, for case studies. Uh, so just watch the video and you'll understand what happens. Now, number one, be quick. Whilst being quick in bed is not necessarily good, Instagram is much different. Fucking hell, the joke was awful. But uh, by this I mean, on Instagram, when you post, when you push out the picture, you want to be as quick as possible. By this I mean, you want to get as many people to like the picture, comment on the picture, share the picture, save the picture, as many times as you can. The more p people do that, the, the there's a higher chance of your content going viral. Because here's how Instagram works. Instagram algorithm has a bias, right? It's, it has a bias for number one, for shares, uh, content saves, and you know, engagement overall, right? However, speed, it's, it's a huge part of its bias. The faster content gets engagement, the, the Instagram thinks to itself, okay, um, this content is super valuable, let's push it out, okay? So, by the way, guys, talking about valuable content and about that, I literally made a video on the three things I learned from meme pages that helped my account grow to 13,000 followers, my fitness page, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, back to this. Now, the quicker you are, the better this happens. Like, uh, this is why a lot of people used to do, used to do, like, engagement groups. This is why a lot of people, they went to, uh, they, they went and did. This is why a lot of people are in engagement groups, why a lot of people uh, do all, those, all, all that sorts of stuff. Because it gets engagement. And the sooner the engage, engagement hits, the, the more Instagram algorithm likes it. Um, so how can you do that? Number one, as I mentioned, engagement groups. That's, a, that's one way to do it. Um, number two is actually, this is a strategy not a lot of people talk about. But what you can do is you can go to uh, multiple, multiple pages, your fans' pages, whatever, um, and like their pictures, comment on them without promoting anything. Right? You just do that for the latest posts you see of people who follow you. And what's going to happen eventually, um, if you do this soon enough, I'd recommend you starting doing this 15 minutes before you post your picture, um, they might as well check out your page and like the picture and, and comment on your picture to return the favor. This is how this can work. And it can be hugely, hugely valuable for your growth if this happens. Now, that, that's one way to do this. Uh, with this, of course, you want to share this on your, on your Instagram story. You want to maybe send a couple of DMs to, to some friends you know to get more engagement on the picture. This is one way of doing that. This is more of the... Uh, this is an organic way of you doing that. However, if you have a bigger brand, you can use Gary Vaynerchuk strategy. So he had the 60 second club, where if you would comment on his picture within 60 seconds of posting, essentially, uh, you could you would enter a giveaway. He would do a giveaway every time he would post. Now, for a lot of people, if you're just starting out, um, it might not be sustainable for you to give out, let's say, a book or something like that just because of monetary reasons. However, you can do it with a shout-out. Hey, let me just shout-out one person who comments within the first 60 seconds of my picture, right? Or let me uh, let me do a collab with you. Let me, let me give this sort of value, that sort of value. You want to incentivize them to turn on notifications and whenever you post, you want to make them engage as soon as possible because this also goes with, with step number one, right? Be quick. You want to be as quick as possible. Okay, number two, post valuable content, right? This had to be step number two. It's as simple as that. No matter what you do, no matter what strategies if you, you use, if your content is not good, if it's not valuable, nobody's going to give a shit about that. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go viral. Nothing's going to happen. Your content must be valuable. Now, if you look at meme pages, their content is valuable because it brings entertainment. If you look at my fitness page, the content is valuable because I share my, my, my motivation. I, I share my tips on fitness. If you look at my business page, my content content there is valuable because I teach people how they can become more productive, how they can make more money from Instagram, how they can, uh, um, like, sharing a couple of concepts I have learned. I'm bringing value to people. And um, another thing to the bias, how to make your content go viral, 
is shareability. This is what I talked about in the three things I learned from meme pages. Because literally, if you look at any big meme page out there, if you look at Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, all those huge pages, you see a trend. You see a following trend. And the trend is tagging people. It's sharing the content with your friends. The only way for this to happen is when you have kids content. Right? You have to think in terms of how can I make my content so good that people will be willing to share that content with their friends, willing to share that content with, with their family on their story, something like that. That's going to give you, number one, a huge credibility. Number two, push you in terms of the algorithm. Number three, it's going to get you a lot of new followers because that's essentially like recommending something. Now, for you, if, you, if you're looking for a car dealership, if you want to buy a car, you want to ask your, uh, your friends, for example, who's the best car salesman to go to? Who will give me the best deal? Uh, what, what's the best dealership? Blah, blah, blah. You would ask your friends. That's giving you recommendations. When somebody tags you in a picture, the same, the same thing happens there. They're recommending the content to you. That's where you want to be at. Okay? That's super, duper crucial for you. All right? So, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a quick one. And, uh, yeah, feel free to... Click the link below and go to my Instagram growth playlist. I'm going to be doing two of these Instagram growth videos a week. So it's going to be two Instagram marketing videos and two business videos a week. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.